I grew up in Zagreb, Croatia. And music was in, in those sort of Balkan countries, ex-Yugoslav countries and other Balkans, um, kind of part of your, your you know, life. It's kind of he like here, you know, everybody loves music, everybody sings, everybody can play many instruments, you know. Mom took us to the music school for a very practical reason because she's a very practical person. Uh, she didn't want us in the streets all the time so she says no the kids must play instrument get them off the streets and and somehow we persisted i played the violin for six years this was the primary school and my sister played the flute and then i went into um the high school and um, i was always really good with like oral and solfege and was always i was always very good with ear and, and so i went into the high school of music with singing and then um I was 16, I watched um, Montreux Jazz Festival and I saw Janis Joplin sing. And that for me was literally, I, I came home and I packed up all my vinyls that I had up until then, which was mostly pop and kind of, and started listening to, uh, to that kind of like conscious rock and a lot of lyrics and the reggae and the lyrics and the messages that always like appealed to me. Tough ones 
things can go again I cannot find my own way Hoping to find my own way back home I do not hear my own voice Hoping to find my own way back home Oh, God. 
ti This was early 90s. Then the the civil war broke out in in uh, ex Yugoslav countries, and my dad, just a crazy sort of circumstance, got a, a job in in South Africa, and we moved here. And of course, you know, South Africa was changing as well. The whole the whole country as well. So it was a really interesting time. For me, it was it was difficult because I feel I was 19 and I sort of had a life there. And then I came here, I couldn't speak English. But then I got in, in, into music and I actually, you know, realized I would like to pursue music. It wasn't really, um, you know, like maybe a conscious decision, but I just really liked some of the stuff that I was listening to. So I was never into classical music, but I studied classical singing because that was what was available. And also when I got to it, I studied with a wonderful, wonderful, um, well-known opera singer, Emma Renzi, who, who sang at La Scala in the 50s. And she taught me really, I feel like really good technique, you know. There was one point in my life when I was studying uh, well, I thought maybe I'll go into fashion because I also love fashion, but that was on that was only like a little fling. Um, music was always what I was gonna do, and so yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
mama i njena duša prozirna što voli sve ko nekada milena ti si sam ti
on your face Arms which are long Hard to embrace Brave sons And beautiful daughters You teach us To be strong us music songs to play with sunlight kissed you love each and every Music, songs 
loves to play with sunlight kissed you love each and every one falling leaves you gather us Just like Brafea's horn you sing I really do just uh, enjoy playing with with this trio because of the, the the sound that the guys make and how they play and the warmth and the care around our music. I like how it feels, even when we play the wrong notes. It just feels good. But yeah, playing playing with them, also I can always hear what they're doing, and I always feel. Um, they, they, they play with respect to my music and to what I'm trying to say. I like the intimate setting. I feel like I, I come from, from a lineage of, you know, big belty Balkan singing, you know, but uh, I think my voice just really enjoys the more intimate spaces. <laughs> Searching, finding I was the one Silly one I was the one To look for deeper meaning While you were the one Not to be found I was always the one to be painting clouds and pretty pictures in my head. I was the one always searching, finding. Thank you. 
resting tired eyes from the world I look at the street I just want to float away I know this might sound a bit weird, but I tend to enjoy gigs that don't require of me to be a bass player, uh, but to be a musician. So just thinking about rhythm, thinking thinking like an arranger whilst you're playing, all that put in one. So And with a trio, without having a drummer or someone who's designated to create rhythm, we have to find ways to anchor the unit rhythmically and I, I enjoy that kind of thing so this trio has, has taught me a lot it's challenging it's not as easy uh, as as it might sound but uh, I, I love that I think one one of the nice things was we had one of those background jazz gigs doing standards for quite a while which is has its benefits of just getting to know each other and, and starting to learn and, and Ziza slowly but surely kept on bringing more and more of her own original material and it just grew out of this and it was, it was really quite organic I think yeah, and, um, it was, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's been cool Bye. 